The following video is sponsored by Rincon. Generation two of the Rincon is here and it brings forward some big changes. It's one gram lighter, one millimeter thinner, so it's only about two to three grams the weight of it, and they've made improvements to the chipset. So it has more storage, but the big one is it's more efficient. Battery life has increased as a result. So 10 to 12 days out of a single charge, which is phenomenal, and then 150 more from the case, which means you only really need to put it on the case to charge once a week. And it is the world's first smart ring that can monitor sleep apnea, along with our continual heart rate monitoring, that's 24 seven, skin temperature, your breathing, HRV, and stress levels. It can track exercises, and I'll be putting that to the test with a short mountain bike ride, and I'll be showing you what the Generation 2 is all about in this video. So just like the first Rincon that I did test out, they do have this, which is your sizing kit. So you can find out which size is gonna fit you the best because they're not using the standard US ring size here with them. Oh, and by the way, between July the 8th and the 11th, there's gonna be 20% off for Prime Day discount on Amazon UK. So they send this out to you first, the sizing kit, and you can see here the materials. I love the way they've laid this out because you can actually touch and feel like that one's glossy, that has a bit of a matte finish to it, the black, and the others are glossy. Now the rose gold, this actually has 75% real gold in it, so it is the more expensive model, but really good materials here. And when you lift this card up, you then have all the different sizes. So their recommendation is that you put it on and wear it for 24 hours, and that way you know which one's gonna be the best for you. I started out with size 11 on my index finger. After a night using it and sleeping uh, with the ring on, I found it was a little bit too tight for me, so I went with 12, and that has been perfect for me so far. It's been really comfortable. And when it finally does arrive, it's really nicely presented. You can see our ring right there. We do have some paperwork, so this is user guide and a bit of product information and whatnot is there, a Type-C to Type-C cable and our case. So I'm a big fan of the first gen one and I'm really glad to now be using and testing out and give you this video of the second gen. So the first gen case, very, very similar. The only change really is they've just designed this to be a little bit more rounded, a bit smooth. So just slight change in the ergonomics, but essentially the same thing with the battery built inside. And you can see the difference there between the Gen 1, which is on the right of the screen, the left is our new one. So they managed to shed one gram weight off it, get it down a millimeter. And so it's very, very thin and light. And they've improved the performance now of the new model because this here has now the next level performance low power with it because it's got a new MCU chip. So this is gonna give us 400% more storage capacity and they've gotten the power consumption down uh, 259%. So this is how they get that amazing battery life out of it for 10 to 12 days. So you can see just inside here, our sensors there. So we've got the continual heart rate monitoring with it. Of course, the big one being a sleep apnea that I talked about there in the intro and your SpO2. So that's our blood saturation, oxygen saturation levels. Now the build quality is excellent. Just like the first model, very, very good. I've got the silver band here, which is very shiny. Incredibly light because this is only between two and three grams, the weight of the rings here. And so I don't find this to be a burden set or wearing it and then sleeping with it on is not a problem compared to some of the, the sleep tracking watches, smart watches that I often do test out in the channel. Let me give you a closer look at it there so you can see those sensors on the side and sometimes you see it flashing a little bit but it's, it's not distracting like some of those watches, especially when the watch screen comes on at night accidentally, this is not going to be waking you up. So it is here compared to Gen 1, 24.8% thinner, 33.3% lighter and 12.8% more narrow. So that is a great feat there. And I'll just quickly show you this there, again, the older one here, which I had the silver matte band on this one and it does show a few fingerprints and smudges so I'm glad that this one now is glossy so it cleans up a lot better but it doesn't even really look like you are wearing this smart ring at all when you do have it on you can see it just looks like oh you're just wearing a, a steel colored band there ring around your index finger 
And yes, of course, it is waterproof. Down to 100 meters it's rated, that's 328 feet. So you can have a shower wearing this, it's not gonna be a problem because you need that 24 seven fitness information from the ring here. And that means that you can swim with it too. It's not gonna be an issue, get sweat on it, rain, no problem at all. So this is our application. It is called RingCon. So very easy to find in iOS for your Apple users and Android, which is what I'm using right here now. So this is uh, the other day because I did end up going for a couple of bike rides. So it's gonna give me a nice full little clover here. You can see that I'm filling this and it's telling me that my sleep, uh, stress status, vital status, activity, and we've got all this key information in here. Now, I've not been sleeping very good lately, and that's represented in my score, which is not amazing. The sleep time is there. Now, I've noticed it is very accurate. Uh, in fact, they've done some tests on this that it is very accurate with its deep learning. They've done an internal lab test, and it, they said, well, it was 90.7% accurate in identifying that as sleep apnea, which is really good to hear. Now, I find that my watch I normally wear for sleep tracking, which is a Huawei Fit 4 Pro, is not that accurate at sleep tracking. It's not the best, and this is just so much better when I look at the times it told me that I went to sleep, and even if it records a nap for, say, 30 minutes or something, it will pop up on the screen, which is good. It tells you your different stages of your sleep, all that information, which is very good. And if I go into here, you can see my activity details here too as well. So it's counting steps. And if I did happen to go for an exercise, a bike ride, that is gonna be in here. And in fact, I'm gonna show you that shortly. Your stress levels, they are noted right here. Vital signs, exercise, and I can go into information about sleep apnea there and you're able to have a look. Now it does give you uh, AI powered health advice, health goals here too as well with it. History, so sleep apnea, I'm gonna keep an eye on this. I did have a blocked nose, so I did expect it to give me uh, not an amazing result. Now, it's told me no abnormalities detected, and it's monitoring my blood oxygen saturation level. So if there's a big dip in that, then it knows that, well, hang on, something's up with your sleeping, perhaps your breathing passages are being blocked a little bit, maybe you do have sleep apnea, and it will rate you here. So it gave me one night 5.6, which is not good because it should be under five. This is not severe, this is suspected to be mild, and again, it's, I think, because I had a blocked nose, but of course, I will be keeping a close eye on this. The other night was zero, it didn't detect anything, and that's when I didn't have a blocked nose. In fact, I think I can go to that day here too. Okay, see, that one was oh, 0 0.8, and I had seven events there. So that is fine. That's not telling me that I'm going to be at risk of sleep apnea, which is good to know there. So there's a lot of information in here. Uh, your body temperature too is recorded as well. So we have all of those vital signs in here. It's collecting a lot of information without even bothering you and especially for that sleep tracking, because I find the smartwatches can be cumbersome, they cause fatigue, I don't want to wear them every night. But wearing just a ring, this is not an issue. I'm a wedding band user, wearer, I never take this off, I just move it about to clean. And for me, having an additional ring at night, not an issue. Under the vital signs tab here, you can go day by day and take a look at everything. So it is gonna be monitoring a lot. We have my heart rate in here and you can see the information there. So this is continual heart rate monitoring. You can take a test on the spot if you want. It'll give me my average resting heart rate. Yes, this may seem low, but I will tell you that I am a mountain biker, so a cyclist, and I normally do have quite a low resting heart rate. I know for some people it's a bit higher here, but mine can drop right down and it's it's perfectly fine here. So we have the range, my blood oxygen saturation level, so SpO2 all monitored in there. Now, if there are times where it is missing, it may have been when I took the ring off for certain reasons, perhaps filming something around this period here. Uh, HRV, also recorded there, skin temperatures and respiratory rate. So there's a lot of info that is recorded during the day, the whole time you're wearing it. Then the settings menu here for our ring, you can see you've got a find my ring option. Very handy if imagine you misplace it, it slipped down the side of the couch, the sofa. You'd be able to locate it more or less where it is. You've got ring settings there. We have the airplane mode if you didn't want it to be transmitting Bluetooth or anything like that. 
uh, you turn that off. And that's the only thing it's going to be transmitting, it's Bluetooth. This does not have a modem or anything built into it. Information about the ring itself, yes there are firmware updates that improve the bugs, the, if there are any that gets rid of those. Software updates to accuracy and whatnot will be continually be pushed through like any good device there. And other information. Now I do love the fact they've got frequently asked questions, care and use of it, an LED color reference guide there, and just a general ring user guide. So it is a application that's packed full of information and guides and everything you'd pretty much want. It's very good. Now for my test with the tracking, it's an outdoor cycling mode that it does have. The Rincon Gen 2 is on my finger here. And I'm gonna start the tracking now and go for a mountain bike ride. So fantastic view from up here, quite a climb up. So it'll be interesting to see what that heart rate monitoring is gonna report. So way in the distance down there, you can see the castle of Denia. And the ring, well, it hasn't fallen off me. It's been a lot more comfortable than I thought it would. I made it back. That was a 25 kilometer run. Let's have a look at now the Rincon Gen 2 results. GPS is being recorded from the GPS of my phone, not on the ring itself. It does not have GPS built into it. So we can see the distance. I did 27 kilometers average speed. The duration uh, was almost three hours and my kilo calories there that I did burn. Heart rate information, which is uh, very important there. You can see the warm up fat burning anaerobic and extreme. I didn't manage to enter those zones there. Under the me profile, this is where you can get a little bit more in terms of settings and version management, data management and whatnot, and my profile. So I have the ring connected, and this is where you can see here the remaining battery life. Now I have worn this for four days, and you can see I've got 66% left. So very good. I am approximately losing about 10% a day. So that is really going with their claims. They say 10 to 12 days. And remember, this is a two hour and 40 minutes fitness tracking session that I was using as well there, which does use the battery a little bit more. So I think it's phenomenal battery life to be able to last this long, really good. The Rincon Gen 2 Air has also launched and it has the same powerful AI health features. Now, I love the fact that it's so thin and light and the battery is fantastic. So I only need to pop it into the case here. You only need to do that once a week. And for me, it's just like wearing another ring and it looks like just like you're trying to make a fashion statement or something, you're wearing a ring, but it is in fact a smart health tracker ring and it doesn't have a bright screen that's gonna wake me up at night. Like I do wear smartwatches for sleep tracking information, but I find them to be number one, uncomfortable, Number two is the screen can sometimes come on and wake me up and it can be a bit of annoyance. And the third one, after three days, I just, I, I just can't do it. I wanna rip it off. I cannot wear a smartwatch to bed and have it on all night. But this, I can. I think a lot of people will. It is really nothing and you kind of forget it is there and that's what you want really from a smart ring. So if you're after more information about the Rincon Gen 2, please check the link in the description of this video. And thank you so much for watching this sponsored video.